is long time no see, right? I should probably get out. This is probably really unflattering. But anyways, hello to you all. Today is September 12th. It's a Saturday and I have not vlogged this whole month yet. I have just been really, really busy. I went back to school August 31st. Uh, so I'm... I will be starting the third week of school this coming week, or this coming Monday. Hi, Jackalberry. Um, yeah, I've been super busy, and school just started, so that's why I haven't really vlogged. I've just literally been doing school-related things and homework and class. It's been very hectic and very stressful already. So, um, yeah, that's why I haven't really been vlogging. I'm at my dad's right now, if you couldn't tell. I'm watching the puppies. Here's Jackalberry right here, if you didn't see him before. Uh, Bree's working. She's working till 2. It's like 10.30 now, and I just got done filming a couple videos. Um, one is my September favorites, and the other one is my phone case collection. I believe maybe both of those will be up by the time you see this vlog. Um... The September favorites obviously go up at the end of September, and then I believe uh, my phone case collection will go up in October, which obviously this is the vlog for September and October, so both of those videos should be up. Um, I'll link those down in the description box if you want to check them out. So I just got done doing that, and I've just been kind of relaxing for a little bit. I was watching some Snapchats, and um, now I'm probably going to take a shower. Ugh, I really... I don't know, it's kind of, of a dilemma right now because like when I do my makeup, I usually just like to leave it on for the entire day because then I just feel like it's just a waste of makeup. But I really just want to take a shower right now and I feel like if I just leave my makeup on, then I feel like there's really no point in taking a shower. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. So yeah, I'll probably just take all my makeup off and just take a shower and then I'll probably just watch some YouTube videos and do some homework and I want to do a few other things. Um, I believe I mentioned in my last vlog that I'm making my sister and my friend a phone case. I already made Breeze. Um, I believe she's going to do a whole video on it. So maybe I'll wait till she does that. Or maybe, you know what, maybe I'll just go ahead and show you her finished phone case. I just finished it and um, did it yesterday and it's just sitting over here. Um, just drying and settling or whatever. So this is what her phone case looks like as you can see. She really wanted like a Halloween or horror movie um, themed phone case so that's what I did for her. You can see that just a black phone case and I just blinged it out with some rhinestones, um, some silver and black rhinestones and then um, I have some little lightning bolts and um, Halloween themed cabicons like the pumpkin, the bats, and this huge spider web. And then here is the main piece which I am obsessed with. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Here is what the main piece of the phone case looks like which I am super obsessed with and I thought was adorable. As you can see they're just um, a bunch of villains from horror movies. So you have, um, where's my finger? There we go. We have Chucky, uh, we have Michael Myers, um, I don't know his name. He's from Hellraiser. Jason um, Leatherface, I believe. And then Freddy Krueger from like Nightmare on Elm Street and things like that. So I thought that was super cute. And then I also added some like um, chains to the phone case, which I thought was kind of like a cool touch so it can kind of like hang down. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. So that's just the main piece of the phone case. And here's just a little bit close up of the whole phone case. So yeah, I made Bree's phone case already and then I think I'm going to try my best to make my friend's phone case this weekend. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it just because I have so much going on. I had to film these videos. I have a bunch of homework to do. Um, and then there's a few other things that I wanted to do as well. I think me and Bree wanted to decorate for Halloween this weekend as well. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, me and Bree, we love decorating. We love decorating really, really early uh, for both Halloween and Christmas. So I think we're going to try and do that if we have time. So um, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff going on. I apologize that I haven't vlogged this whole month so far, the first couple weeks or week, whatever, of September. But um, yeah, I've just been really, really busy. So um, yeah, I'm probably just going to go ahead, take my makeup off, get in the shower, make something to eat, and then... Uh, watch YouTube videos and homework and things like that and then um, I will definitely 
vlog later for you guys, whether it's today or later in this month, but I definitely will vlog later. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, today is Sunday, September 13th, and um, I'm obviously at my dad's uh, right now for the weekend, and I'm leaving tomorrow morning because I have class and everything like that, but um, tonight before I leave, me and Brie are going to decorate for Halloween. Brie is not currently here. She went to Walmart because she had to um, get some stuff, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get everything down right now so we can start decorating when she comes back and then when she comes back we're gonna make some dinner and um, just kind of chill for the rest of the night um, I'm currently working on um, my friend Shannon's phone case it's coming out really really uh, cool looking and I'm really excited about it it's not totally done I still have a little bit more to do but um I also have other homework to do so um, I'm also gonna be working on that tonight as well. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and decorate. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is we gave the puppies a bath so they smell really, really good. Jackalberry, hi honey. Do you feel better after your bath? Do you feel nice and clean? Yeah? He's a nervous wreck because Bree's gone. <laughs> Love this commercial for some reason. Hey everyone, today is Sunday, September 20th. Um, again, I <laughs> didn't vlog for like a week since the last time I vlogged, so I literally only vlogged like twice this entire month and it's already over in less than two weeks. I apologize about that. Maybe for this vlog I might have to just combine September, October, and November just because this month was a complete failure when it came to vlogging. The first time, or the first reason why I didn't vlog is because school started up and I was really, really busy with school. And that kind of happened with this past week as well, but then I was also, I don't know, I was just in a really weird mood. I don't know, I was just having like bouts of anxiety and I just wasn't in like a good mood. So that's kind of why I didn't really vlog um, all that much just because I wasn't really in the mood I wasn't really in the mood for anything so um, I apologize about that but um, I really didn't do anything I just basically uh, went to school and studied and did homework and everything like that um, I did go to Payless I believe on Wednesday because I had to get some shoes um, they're not all that fancy they were just like for school and like just nicer shoes to wear to like interviews and stuff like that because I don't have any nice interviewing shoes, if that makes any sense, and um, I'm super excited. I actually found some. I just got some simple black flats, um, nothing fancy, and then my other shoes that were that are for school are just some white tennis shoes, so um, yeah, all, not all that exciting of shoes, but um, I was really excited to find some flats because it is so hard for me to find like nice shoes to wear, especially to interviews that are like shoes that fit me and that are appropriate if you know what I mean because usually um you know my feet are so small I can't fit in like women's I can really only fit in kids and the only shoes that I can find in kids are like you know like Dora the Explorer or you know <laughs> they have all these like characters on them and I can't really wear them or they have these like 
uh, really like over the top animal prints and colors, which I mean, I personally like, but I don't think that would be appropriate for like a job interview and everything like that. But um, yeah, I did find some nice just black flats and um, they were in the kids section and I was super excited and that put me in a good mood because I went to the kids section and um, they actually had like more like grown up looking shoes, if you know what I mean. They didn't really have like, uh, you know, like characters on the shoes and all these like wa wacky colors and everything like that. But um, anyways, today I've just um, been kind of hanging out. I'm editing a video right now. Um, it's a nail tutorial. I'll probably link that down below in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, it's another video using products from Born Pretty Store. I have this video and then I believe one other video going up of products from Born Pretty Store, which I'm super excited about. They're really cool videos and I'm excited for you guys to see them. So I've been editing this video and I've been making um, my friend Shannon her phone case. I'm making that for her and I am trying to get that done today. That's like my main goal for today is to get that phone case done, which I think I will. I'm pretty much done with it. I just have to add, you know, more like pearls and rhinestones to it just to kind of finish it off and things like that. And I am currently watching the puppies Bree and Chance. They went to like some like local band concert thingy last night. So I watched them last night and I'm still watching them. Uh, right now she's going to be back in like a half hour or an hour or so. So, um, yeah, that's just what I've been doing. And um, also Luke came over last night uh, just to kind of keep me company while I watched the dogs and we just kind of hung out. Uh, we watched Sons of Anarchy. It's so sad, we're only on, now we're on the last season of Sons, An Sons of Anarchy. I can't talk today. And I'm kind of sad. I hate like finishing shows because it's just that feeling like, great, like what do you do now when the show's over? So yeah, we were just, um, watching Sons of Anarchy last night on Netflix and yeah that's pretty much it we didn't really do anything we just hung out and um yeah and now we're to today right now um let's see the rest of today um I don't really have any homework which thank god like this weekend has been really nice because I've honestly been doing basically nothing um I've been pretty lazy this weekend which I don't like being lazy but um, sometimes I think it's good just to have like a day or two or maybe an entire weekend just to, you know, lay around, do nothing, relax and everything like that. So I don't have as much homework. I have a bunch of tests to study for, so I probably will do a little bit of that today. And then I'm going to try to finish up this video that I'm editing and finish uh, the phone case. And um, that's pretty much it. Those are my goals for today and I really need to get them done because... Friday and Saturday, I really didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, and also, I ordered some new Cavicons and phone cases, um, so I will be making um, more phone cases to put on my Etsy shop. Um, I can't guarantee those are going to go up, like, right away. I'm going to try my best to work on them right away, but um, just because of school and life and also waiting for them to um, get delivered to me. It's going to take a while, but um, I'm excited to get those up um, on my Etsy shop. I got more um, updated phones, I guess you could say. Like I got some iPhone 6s, iPhone 6 Plus, um, some Samsung Galaxy phones. So, um, or phone cases, not like phones. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm waiting on those to arrive and I think I'm going to buy some stickers today. Um, the sticker shop that I wanna buy from is Sweet Kwai Design and she's currently, um, on like vacation or something like that or like her shops on hold or whatever you want to call it just because she's like catching up on orders and I believe she said she's her shops gonna be back up this afternoon so I really want to get more stickers so yeah that's all I'm doing today I apologize about the no vlogging and everything like that just life has just been really crazy just with a lot going on and um yeah I will definitely try to vlog more again I apologize and I will talk to you all later. Darn it, I was trying to catch Jackal dreaming, but that didn't work out. It's so cute when he dreams and he like barks and growls in his sleep. I just think it's the cutest thing. But of course, right when I pull out the camera, he stops. Oh well, still cute. <laughs> hey everyone, so as you can already tell by this vlog that you are watching is I combined um, September, October, and November 
um, into one vlog just because I just haven't been vlogging at all. I have been so busy. Like, it's been ridiculous how busy I've been. Like, this is probably, like, my busiest semester of school yet. And I feel like I say that every semester, but, it's like, seriously, this semester has been my busiest. Like, I am constantly working on something school-related and then also... When I'm not working on school related, I have my Etsy shop now, so I'm trying to work on all that stuff, and then I still have YouTube, so I've been so incredibly busy, and I haven't been vlogging a little bit, is because I keep forgetting to vlog, and, um, but mostly it is just because I have nothing to vlog, because I'm either working on homework, or, um, if I'm not working on homework or anything school related, I'm working on YouTube or Etsy. So I'm not really doing anything. So there's really nothing to vlog. So that's why I decided to combine months. And, um, which you'll obviously know, um, when the vlog is up and you're watching it. I feel like I have an eyelash in my eye. It's really bugging me. Yeah, so that's what, what's going on right now. And I'm also going to be doing the same thing with my, um, October favorites. I'm just going to combine my October and my and my November favorites. Um, I was going to film my October favorites um, this weekend because currently it's October 9th. I don't know if I said that already, but um, anyways, I was gonna film my October favorites this weekend, but I just decided, you know what? I have so much going on and that's just one more thing I have to worry about. And I was just, I was really, really stressing and I <laughs> kind of broke down. I had a mini panic attack just because I was just getting really overwhelmed with everything that I had to do. Uh, dealing with school and also dealing with YouTube and Etsy. So I just decided, you know what? I'm just going to take one thing off my huge to-do list and I'm just going to combine my October and my November favorites. So um, obviously you already know this, but um, yeah, my October favorites isn't going to be up um, at the end of October. I'm just going to combine favorites just to give myself a little bit more time to either relax or more time to study, work on school and or my Etsy shop and everything like that. Everything is going good. Everything's going really good. Um, but it's just a lot. And I'm, I'm just really busy and just, it gets really overwhelming sometimes. So speaking of my Etsy shop, I've been really, really trying to get on top of that. Um, ever since Brie put out the video of um, her Halloween photo case that I made for her, I've been getting tons and tons of messages of like mm -hmm. requests. Sorry, that's my phone. So I've been getting tons and tons of messages of like phone case requests and everything like that. So I've been trying my best to um, get to all those messages to reply to you guys and also planning out the supplies and getting the supplies to start making those phone cases. And I just want to say thank you so much to those who are watching that if you message me or you're waiting for a phone case or whatever, I just really want to thank you so much for being so understanding because um, pretty much the deal is with custom orders is I will take custom orders, I'll take requests, like if you have a certain phone and you want me to make you a certain type of phone case or anything like that, you can go ahead and tell me I will take those requests. But the only thing, like I said a million times, I'm so incredibly busy, I'm not going to be able to, um, you know, get to your phone case request right away, if that makes any sense. Like, I still have school and everything like that, and that's my number one, that's my top priority is school, and that comes before, pretty much right now, where I am in my life, school comes before anything. And um, so I've explained that to all of you and Bree's explained that as well in her video and everyone has been so understanding and so nice and I just really, really appreciate that. And that's why I've always felt kind of iffy about doing custom orders or requests and sometimes I kind of still feel like that just because I don't want anyone to get upset. I don't want to upset anyone because it is going to take me such a long time to, you know, get all the supplies and get your phone case made whenever I have the time and the money to do it. And, um, it just makes me really nervous and scared because I don't want to upset anyone if it takes, you know, a few months or even more than that to get a phone case up, um, on my Etsy shop. But everyone has been really, really nice about it. And, um, I apologize if I could, I would make your phone cases immediately, but, um, that's just not, um, available for me right now. And I just really, really wanted to thank you all for being so understanding i really do appreciate it and um i did write down everyone's requests and i've been planning out and finding um their cabicons and everything like that and also waiting for shipping because one of the etsy shops i go to um they have like 
a wide variety of phone cases of like plain phone cases for like different phone types and in different colors and they're each like 95 or 99 cents they're all less than a dollar but um the thing is is it takes so long um for her to ship everything out to me like it literally takes her like maybe like two three weeks to ship out the order so not only um is it hard for me to find the time to like actually sit down uh, research all the supplies and get the supplies and make the phone case I also have to wait for um, shipping and everyone to ship their um, you know my orders out to me but anyways uh, like I said thank you thank you thank you so much for being understanding and um, I did take note of everyone's um, requests and I'm going to get started on those as soon as I can and that's kind of what I'm doing right now I have like a bunch of cabicons um, all laid out as you can see all around me because I'm just kind of organizing. Yeah, I just wanted to come on and uh, chat with you guys a little bit. Um, this weekend, it's a busy weekend, like it always is. I have a bunch of homework and um, tests to study for and midterms to study for. Um, I have to work on um, the nursing program. I have to work on my application. I have to write an essay for that. I have to finish that up because that's due. The application's due in like less than two weeks. So I have work. I have to work on that, and um, that's Etsy, Etsy stuff that I'm doing right now. I have to work on that. I really want to try and make a phone case or two. Uh, I really want to film a plan with me video, a Halloween um, plan with me video. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And um, oh, and we are also going to be carving some pumpkins, which I'm super excited about. Um, that's kind of a little tradition that me, Bree, and my dad have. So um. Yeah, I will talk to you all a little bit later. Bye. Wednesday, October 14th, and I just got home um, from school. I had a couple classes today, and I also had some um, job interviews or practicum interviews for my um, medical assistant practicum, and um, yeah, so now I'm home. My interviews went okay. I, th I think I did pretty good. You know me. I'm just such a nervous wreck, and I'm so anxious, and I constantly think, um, you know, the worst case scenario, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to block out that thinking and it's over and done with. I think I did a pretty good job. So yeah, now I'm home and I thought I would just vlog a little bit. I just got a package in the mail, a Bath and Body Works package and I thought I would just go ahead and open it up in this vlog. I really wanted to do or film a shopping haul with my Bath and Body Works stuff and also some other stuff that I ordered that is still coming in the mail. But I don't know, I just kind of felt like filming a little bit and doing like a first impressions kind of thing because I think I ordered a couple candles that I've never smelled before or I've never bought before so I thought I would just show this now and then uh, when my other stuff comes in the mail I'll either show it in the same vlog or maybe a different vlog or maybe I'll just do a little shopping haul just showing that stuff that I got so I'm gonna go ahead open this box and we will see what is inside all right so here is the box all open I absolutely love their boxes that they come with like this pattern I just absolutely love it I just think it's the cutest thing but anyways let's just remove all of this stuff oh cute it's a little snowman that's adorable are these like new stuff they got oh no it's not it's the vanilla bean noel which is like their I think it's their like most popular Christmas thing I'm actually not a big fan of the um vanilla bean noel I guess I just expected a little bit better of a scent or something like that just because I um heard last year how extremely popular the scent is but yeah I just wasn't a big fan of it it just kind of smelled like like vanilla to me like I thought I don't know I just expected it to smell um like more unique or like a different scent and then here's everything and then I got I got uh two um stress relief sprays one of them is for my mom that she bought I just 
put it all in one order, uh, mostly for like free shipping purposes and just, it just makes it easier to find everything in one order. So yeah, one of them's my mom's and then the other one I actually bought for my mom. That's going to be like her Christmas present. So I got two of those and then four candles. So I'll go ahead and open up all of this stuff. Okay, hopefully you can see me okay. I just set my camera down to make it a little bit easier. And this one I'll just um, leave like this for now. I don't know. I just don't feel like opening it because these are such a pain to open. I can never open these because like they wrap so much tape around it. I just totally hit myself in the face and scratched myself. Did anyone catch that? Oh. It's just one of those days, you guys. So yeah, I'll just leave it like this because um, like I said, this will be a Christmas present for my mom. So I'll just keep that. I usually try to get her candles, but for some reason, I was just looking on their site, nothing like really jumped out at me. I mean, like, there was a couple candles on here, or like one of them that I've gotten my mom before for like presents, but I felt like just getting her something different, but I feel like there wasn't really anything different on there that I think she would like. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to get her a candle. I obviously didn't get her a candle this time around, but, um, I decided to get her a stress relief spray because that's like probably her favorite thing from Bath and Body Works and she goes through them so fast. Like I swear she's asking me like every other week for me to like go online and buy her a new one. So yeah, I think uh, this will be a good present for her. Now I'm going to move on to the candles. So the first one I just picked up is Marshmallow Fireside. Now the first time I smelled Marshmallow Fireside, I think it was either last year or maybe the year before. When did I start? I don't know. Maybe it was last year. I first smelled it and I just, I wasn't a fan with it. Like I just didn't think it smelled good at all. And it's kind of like that with that vanilla B Noel, like I just expected so much from it because I feel like this candle's like really popular for like the fall time and maybe the Christmas time or whatever. But um, yeah, when I smelled it, I just wasn't a fan of it. And then, you know, I think over the summertime actually, like August, it was the end of August. So it was kind of transitioning from the summer sense to the fall sense. So when I was there, I would just thought, you know what, what the heck, I'm just gonna smell every candle they have, even though if I've smelled them before, I'm just gonna smell number one again. And I smelled Marshall, Marshmallow Fireside again, and I was like, oh my gosh, like this smells so good. I don't know if they like changed the formula in it, or I don't know, maybe like my senses just change or something like that but anyways here's what the candle looks like i just really like that picture it just really reminds me of like this more reminds me of like christmas like the name of it in the picture i don't know i don't know if this is more of a fall candle or a winter or christmas -y candle but anyways that's what that looks like and the description for it is celebrate the season with a warm blend of toasted marshmallows smoldering woods and creamy vanilla reminiscent of a cozy evening round the fire bonfire to me it smells like a little bit of vanilla with a little bit of like a clean soap cologne type smell if that makes any sense oh and i apologize if you hear like talking because i have my door open and like my mom and her boyfriend are upstairs so if you can hear her talking that's just them but anyways move on to the next candle which is flannel now this one i've never smelled before well except this past August I first smelled it but I don't think I've ever smelled it beforehand and I just thought it smelled really really good so here's what the packaging looks like really really cute I absolutely love the um packaging of it and the description of it is wrap yourself in a warm blend of bergamot I don't know if that's how you pronounce it bergamot polished mahogany and a soft veil of musk so <sighs> yeah that smells good too this one is, let's see, it's kind of has like that cologne type smell, like the musk in like the description, kind of that musky cologne smell. Ugh, with a little bit of something else I can't point out, but it smells really, really good. So the next candle I got, or the next two candles are like winter Christmas time candles. So the first one I got is Fresh Balsam, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. But uh, here's what it looks like. I just absolutely love the packaging. That's what really gets me on like the holiday candles is the packaging. Like that's totally happened to me before where I would buy a Bath and Body Works um, holiday candle just off the packaging and I really didn't even pay attention to the smell and I ended up not liking the smell at all. But just because of the packaging, like I just had to get it. I have issues. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And the description for this is breathe in the invigorating fragrance of snow dusted balsam fire fir trees and eucalyptus leaves 
So this one I'm pretty sure I've never smelled before. So let's just go ahead and give it a whiff. You know, it smells pretty good. It's different, like it's not like a scent I would usually go for, but um, I kind of like it. I definitely smell like a, like a tree or a pine scent, or I guess the fir trees as it says in the description. That's probably what I smell the most. Yeah, but it, it definitely smells good. I'm, I'm glad I got I got this one and I'm glad I got it because it is different and um, that's kind of what I'm always looking for when I go to shopping at Bath and Body Works. I always want to get something different or something I've never really had before. And the last candle I got is Winter. Now I don't think I've smelled this one before either and pretty much why I got this candle is because of the packaging again. That's what it looks like and the description is a fragrance that captures the moment when glittering icicles and sparkling snow transform the lands landscape pine needles ice mandarin and winter woods so um yeah i also thought the description sounded very unique and different so i wanted to go ahead and um get this candle and try it out again i don't think i've smelled this candle before so let's just go ahead and give it a smell I don't know about this one yet <laughs> that's not like a bad smell again kind of with fresh balsam balsam i feel like i'm saying that wrong but i wouldn't know how else to say it but anyways like the other candle i just showed you it is definitely like a different scent that i don't usually go for yeah and i wouldn't say this is a bad smell i don't even know how to describe it maybe i smell mostly like pine needles and ice mandarin maybe that's what i'm smelling i don't know this is definitely a unique um, scent and um, it doesn't smell good so I think this is a successful buy um, just because like like I just said I like to kind of buy unique scents from Bath and Body Works I don't really know I'm really bad at scents but um, or describing scents so um, that is all of the candles that I got oh I'm so excited I'm super happy with this purchase that I just absolutely love buying fall candles and um, winter or holiday candles those are like my favorite candles to ever buy and that's probably the most time that I um, burn candles, obviously, just to get that cozy, warm feeling, you know. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Bath & Body Works. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul to kind of go in this vlog. And then that other package that um, I got, I'll just go ahead and tell you, it's from Hot Topic. I haven't made a purchase at Hot Topic in forever, so I finally decided yesterday or the day before that I'm just going to go ahead and buy a few things for myself, just because I have it in a very long time, which is very unlike me. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know if I will show that stuff um, in this vlog. I think I'm going to do a separate video, like a shopping haul, um, even though I might be a little bit of a shorter um, shopping haul, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that anyways. Okay, so now that the fun is over, I'm going to go ahead, uh, probably take a shower, get my PJs, and then um, start working on homework and studying. I have a midterm tomorrow, so I got to study for that. And, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all a little later.
Wednesday, November 24th, I believe. And I just got done filming a video, as you can tell by my lips. I filmed my um, lipstick collection and I swatched all my lipsticks on my lips. So my lips are very stained and very tore up right now. And um, so yeah, I just got done doing that. And now, oh, I thought I heard a noise. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do. I thought about filming another video, but now I don't know if I will. Probably just start editing this video. It won't go up until December, I believe. Maybe even January, I don't even know. But um, yeah, so that's just what I've been doing. Um, that's all I did this morning. It's like 11.41. So, um, my mom's out running errands and she's gonna come back and bring me a coffee, so I'm excited for that. And then, yeah, I don't really know what else I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Um, I'm on Thanksgiving break already. Technically, break from school is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but since I don't have school or any classes on Tuesday, um, my break starts a day early, so that's exciting. And then I really don't have any homework except studying because when we get back from break next week, it's just going to basically be preparing for finals, which is really scary. I have a lot to study for for that, and it's making me really nervous. So um, I'll probably maybe even do that today. And um, it's so weird. Like, if you're a student, especially, like, in college, and if you're, like, full-time especially, like, when you don't have any homework or anything really to do school-wise, it's like you feel totally lost. Like, that's how I feel right now. Like, I don't even know what to do with my life because... Usually Tuesdays, I'm spending the entire day doing homework, but since I don't really have any homework, I mean, I still have studying to do, but, like, not, like, really homework, if that makes any sense. So I feel so lost right now. Like, I really don't have too much to do. So I don't really know what to do with my day. Yeah, that's just what's going on with me. And I also wanted to address some um, video requests that I got. Uh, recently I got requested to do um, a chapstick collection and I really don't have any chapsticks like I have maybe a few I'm not a big chapstick junkie even though I probably should be because my lips are so chapped all the time but uh, what I'm thinking about doing I just kind of got this idea from filming my lipstick collection I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film my lip gloss collection and I'll just throw in my chapsticks and lip balms and stuff like that in that collections video. And I don't know when that's gonna get done. Probably not for a while. Um, or maybe I'll have time the next couple weeks. Who knows? Because I'd rather film um, that here at my mom's house because all my makeup's here. And I don't really want to um, drag all my lip glosses and everything like that to my dad's house and that's why it takes me so long to do these like my lipstick collection i literally talked about making so long ago like months 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 ago but um i just i didn't get around to filming it because i wanted to film it at my mom's house because like i said all my makeup's here and i don't want to drag everything to my dad's but um when i'm at my dad's that's like my main time to film because it's over the weekend and i don't have class and I usually film or I finish most of my homework like over the weekdays. So that's why it takes me so long to film at my mom's house, like things that I want to film at my mom's house. So I don't know when that lip gloss collection will be up, but that's just what I'm planning on doing. Another video that I got requested to do was my morning and or nighttime routine. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to do it. I thought about doing it, but I don't think I will because... I don't really have like a routine, which I mean, that sounds kind of dumb because like everyone has a routine, like everyone does certain things uh, before they go to bed and when they wake up in the morning. But like compared to like other YouTubers, like <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know. Other YouTubers, when I watch their morning and nighttime routines, I don't really believe them because like they literally go all out like with their morning and nighttime routines. Like they like they're shaving their legs and washing their face 20 million times with all these different products and they're like pampering themselves like come on who really does all of that every single night before they go to bed like I think it's a little ridiculous and that's kind of what I mean like I don't really have like a morning and or nighttime routine that I think would be video worthy like if that makes any sense like literally when I get up in the morning I'll get dressed do my makeup brush my teeth and that's basically it like I don't really have like a set routine I don't know and same thing when I go to bed like I'll take my makeup off sometimes I won't even take my makeup off because I'm terrible with that um some I'll brush my teeth again 
get my PJs. Sometimes I'll wash my face, but that's basically it. Like literally it would probably only be like 30 seconds, my morning and our nighttime routine. Like it's just, I don't, ugh, like other YouTuber videos, like I don't do that. And like I said, I don't really believe they do that either because literally their, their routines would literally be like three hours. And it's just like, that's not even realistic. Like no one, I just feel like no one does that. So anyways, um, that's kind of why I'm not gonna do one just because I don't really have a routine, like a set routine that I think would be video worthy. So I really apologize um, to those who have requested that video, but um, honestly, I don't even think it would be a video worth watching. So yeah, I just wanted to request those um, couple of video ideas that I got requested. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's going on and everything like that. Um, I'm really hoping to film more like Get Ready With Me because I haven't filmed any in a really long time and I'm kind of missing filming though. So I'm kind of hoping um, when I get done with this semester and I go on like my Christmas or winter break, um, I'll have a two, three weeks off for that. Maybe I can um, film a few of those for you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know when I'm going to wrap up this vlog because um, or maybe I'll include a couple more clips, um, maybe from like Black Friday. I don't know if me and Luke are gonna go. Uh, when it comes to Thanksgiving, I'm always at Luke's house because my family, do we don't really do anything. So I'll be at Luke's house for Thanksgiving. And then I don't know if we're gonna go Black Friday shopping or not. But, um, yeah, if this is the last clip, I'll just say my goodbyes right now. And even if it's not, I'll include maybe a little couple other extra clips. But I'm just gonna say goodbye right now for this vlog. And then I'll just start vlogging for um, next month, which is December. I'm really hoping to get a full, um, full length vlog up for you guys because I decided um, just to finish off the year, I'm not gonna combine December and January just cause I don't know, I kinda just wanna finish off the year by itself with vlogging, if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna do December 2015 on its own. So my goal is to vlog a lot for you guys because I know you guys really enjoy when I do like longer vlogs. So I'm gonna try my best to um, vlog a lot for uh, next month and then I'll start combining the months again uh, when we get into it the next year. I cannot believe we have like less than two months of um, 2015. Sorry, I like totally blanked out. I was like, what was I talking about? But yeah, so anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I think uh, I haven't really edited this vlog yet, but I think it's a lot of talking. So um, hopefully you like that sort of thing. I didn't really vlog a lot of things I was doing. Oh, and that reminds me, something else I wanted to mention is to follow my Snapchat because Snapchat is kind of like another way of vlogging for me. I don't use it a ton. Um, it's just, I kind of just use it to um, you know, snap <laughs> quick pictures of things that I'm doing. And honestly, Snapchat really comes in handy and it's something I really think you guys should follow me on if you like Snapchat or if you have a Snapchat because there are so many times where I'm going to vlog something and my camera's dead. And which is ter which is so unlike me because like I'm usually good at keeping my cameras charged, but there are just some times where I'll go to vlog something and my camera will just be dead. And honestly, that might be like my other little black camera I used to vlog with. Um, it honestly might be that camera. It's, I think it's just getting too old. I really need to get another one soon. But anyways, I'll go to use it and my camera will be dead and it won't even turn on. So I'll just kind of um, go to Snapchat. So anyways, um, if you want to see what else I'm doing, I would definitely recommend following me on Snapchat. It's always linked or my username is always in the description box and under all my videos. So if you wanna go ahead and check that out along with all my other social networking links. But yeah, so I'm gonna get going for now for this vlog. Again, I really hope you all enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in all my other videos and also in December 2015's vlog. So yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.